Today's video is sponsored by Blue Apron. Check the link in the description and the first 50 viewers will get three meals added to their Blue Apron order. Teaching your dog in a dedicated training session, well that's one thing, but how do you get your dog to listen to you in real life when you're distracted by everyday things like cleaning the house, working on the computer, or cooking dinner? Click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Now let's hear more about Flurry from his mom. My name is Sally, my dog's name is Flurry. He is an English lab and he is about five and a half months old. We currently have four dogs, Flurry, Beaujolais, Demitas, and Jacques. If I were to put a plate of food in front of Flurry, he, he would scramble. I do give him treats during the day and he is absolutely obnoxious. Flurry demands most of my attention. Zach, could you please tell me how to get Flurry to listen when I can't completely focus on him? When you're teaching your dog something brand new, it is vital that you give them your undivided attention. But just because you've taught your dog something like leave it when you're focused on them, doesn't mean that they'll do that when your attention is divided. Now my hope is today, we're gonna make some progress on that with Flurry. Wherever possible, include your dog with you in day-to-day -day activities and have them tied to you with a leash, especially during that first year of training so that you can more easily get to them to show them how you'd like them to behave in various circumstances. This should be interesting for a variety of reasons. We're gonna see if we can get Flurry to listen to me while I attempt to cook this meal. I'm actually a new customer of Blue Apron. It's an awesome way for you to cook fancy, exciting, chef-inspired meals at home. Flurry, you can't have my Blue Apron meal. Don't worry though, I got you some fantastic treats to make sure that you're happy and that you're not left out. They deliver all the ingredients you need in exactly the right proportions. You're gonna have to do much better than this while we cook today. We've got some jasmine rice, chicken knickknacks. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Scallions. Is this onion or garlic? Looks like garlic. Some good chicken. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Carrots. Baby bok choy. I wonder what this tastes like. What's under here? Ooh, okay, so that's where they keep the ice packs. So if you're not home, it'll stay cool until you get home. Mirin, I have no idea what that is, but I bet it's great. Rice vinegar, yakaniku sauce. You need so much training. In the past, when I would go to find things like this, I would have a really hard time. I'm ignoring you right now. In the past, if I would try to follow a recipe like this, I'd go to the store and it would take me forever to find ingredients like this. Yakiniku sauce, tell me which aisle that's on. And then I might use them one time and then I end up wasting the rest. So I love that about Blue Apron, that they have exactly what you need and exactly the right amounts you need them. Clearly, Flurry is not understanding that I don't want him to keep jumping on the counter here. So rather than scold your dog for things that you don't like, let me lure him off the counter like this. Now I'm gonna put him into a sit, good job, and I'm gonna go ahead and give him a reward. Blue Apron promises me that I can get this done. However, just in case, Flurry, you and me are a good team. We can do this, okay? It looks like the first step is to prepare the ingredients. So I need to wash the produce, chop the garlic, peel and grate the carrots, cut the scallions, and prepare the bok choy. I got this. So that's what bok choy tastes like. So I don't need any help. Well, I'm thinking a spin-off channel, maybe Zach George's Cooking Revolution. Check out how good he's being right now. The best trainers are really good at catching their dogs behaving well naturally, rather than waiting for them to mess up to them correct them. So let's get the rice cooking. I've got the olive oil in. Don't worry, dude. I toss the garlic in here. Stir that up. Pour the water in. Now I'm gonna put the rice in. Flurry, you're being a great dog, sir. It looks like I need to marinate the carrots now. How do I do that? Pour that in, sesame oil. And I'm gonna stir that up. Good. How does this taste? Sesame oil is what makes it. Flurry, keep doing that. You're doing great. Now it is time to cook and glaze the chicken. Maybe a little more. It's so great because you know exactly what's going into your food and Dare I say it, I'm actually learning how to cook. And that is awesome. That's what you want. The only way your dog is going to learn how to naturally settle down in day-to-day -day situations like this is if you give them the opportunity to do it naturally. The more your dog is used to something happening, like you cooking dinner, talking on the phone, or having guests over, the more likely it is that they'll behave as you want them to because it's not such a special occasion to your dog. And let's work on some real life leave it training with Flurry. I mean, sometimes when you're cooking, you might drop food on the floor, but that doesn't mean it's a free for all for your dog. I've already worked with Flurry on a basic leave it, so let's see what happens if I drop this piece of chicken right in front of him and tell him to leave it when I'm not really paying so much attention to him. Leave it alone. 
okay, not so good. Because he's not used to me dropping chicken in front of him or experiencing it in a non-training setting. This is why you have to go out of your way to really work with your dogs organically in natural day-to-day -day situations. I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna get down on the ground like this. Leave it alone. Hey, not bad, that was a good step. I'm trying to work up to being able to just throw treats in front of him while I cook. Leave it alone. That was great, good. And leave this carrot alone. Yeah, nice work. Good job, you can have it. Now I think we're at the point where if I drop it, he'll probably leave it alone if I tell him. Good, leave it alone. Yeah, that was a good one, buddy. You're not gonna get as far in your training as really just going out of your way to say, yes, I like that behavior. I like that you're being calm. I like that you're being good. That's what gets you rapid results. It's not as intuitive to a lot of people though. I can understand why. You think, well, how do I keep my dog from doing something? By acknowledging the things you like, that's how. If you could smell it in here, you would know that's majorly distracting for a dog. And you've gotta do this, not just one time, not just twice, but make your dog part of your life as much as possible so that you can really teach them effectively. It is time to cook the bok choy. We're gonna use some of the extra marinade from the carrots. I would never know to do this. Signing up for Blue Apron only took me two minutes. Just choose your diet preferences and whether you want the two person or the family plan. The first 50 viewers to sign up using the link in the description will get three free meals. And remember, there's no commitment and you can skip or cancel at any time for any reason. Shipping is always free and Blue Apron ships to most of the United States. This looks a lot like the picture. Let's see if our training has stuck. And let me see if I can get Flurry to leave this whole plate alone when I put it in front of him. Look at that, that's pretty amazing. Click thumbs up for Flurry. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and we'll see you guys in the next episode.